Hello everyone, welcome back. In this module, we will learn about operators in Java. Now, when you deal with data, you might need to do some calculations, some operations on that. Now, for a simple example, now you are writing a is equal to five and you have a number b is equal to 10. Now, you want to add these two numbers. So what you have to do now, you'll be writing a plus b. Now in this case, plus is called operator and a and b are called operands. So in this module, we're going to learn what are the different operators that we have to perform different types of calculations or different types of actions on these operands. So either you can do a plus b or a minus b or a star b or you can compare them a greater than b or a less than b. So all these different types of operators that we have in Java we're going to learn in this module. So let's get started. Now, now in operators, we have total seven categories. One is arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, shift operators, unary operators, and this is also called as increment or decrement operators. And last one, we have assignment operators. Now, as a programmer in Java or any programming language, you have to be very clear with this, all these operators. Now, let's get started and discuss one by one in detail. First, we'll start with arithmetic operations, operators. Let's get started. Now, and I don't think this requires some explanation because most of you might be using this. So plus is used for addition. So when you write here six plus three, these are these two are we are adding six and three. We are storing the result. We're getting this nine. So this is addition. So plus is addition operator, and minus is subtraction operator. And for multiplication, we'll be using star. So so in case if you want to multiply two numbers and store it in another variable, let's take I have a is equal to five, and I have b is equal to ten. Now I want to store these two. I want to multiply these two and store in C. So in programming in Java or any in Java, you don't, you should not write five into 10. So when you write this, it'll give an error. So when you want to multiply these two in programming language, you have to write five star 10 and that will be stored here. So we'll see a quick example. Uh, now let's go to Eclipse ID and let's see a simple program and then come back. Now, as usual, very quickly close the previous project that I have. So right click on this close project. We have been doing it every project. So right click on this close project. Now click on save. So I just closed uh, less than five projects. I'm going to I'll open new Java project, file new Java project. And I'll write here uh, lesson six project and click on next and uh, click on finish. Now, uh, I, I forgot to check this uh, module info Java, but I don't want, so I don't want to create it. Now you can see here, so SRC, now right click on this new package. We always used to do this and lesson six package and click OK. Now I'll add a class here, right click on this new class and I'll write here lesson six. OK, good. And I want main method, public static wide main, click OK, click check the checkbox, click finish. Now, uh, I'll just put it more organized, enter and enter. Click here, delete, remove the space. Click here, delete, remove the space. And now what I need here, I'll just write, let me delete this command that I automatically generated. Now I want to store, I want to read two numbers and find some. So everyone please practice this as well. So I'll do this very quickly. First, I have to write int a comma b. Now, uh, and also, since I want to read from user, I have to create an object for scanner. Scanner obj is equal to new scanner. And I'll write here system.in. And now I'm getting an error because uh, I need to import the package. So I have to select this import scanner. You can see here, um, I selected the wrong one. So I don't want this one. Let me delete this. Now click on the mouse, uh, move the mouse on this, select the import java.util. Click on this. Now you can see here, just added import java.little.scanner. Now I'm not getting uh, orange line indicates a warning um, because we have not used it as of now. So whereas the red line in Eclipse ID indicates an error. So we are seeing an orange line here, that's okay. 
Now what we have to do now, I have to ask user to enter first number. So SYSO control space will give the code snippet control space and I'll write here enter first number. Now what do we need? Now I have to write here a is equal to obj dot next int next int and I have to write here SYSO control space. Now I have to write here enter second number. Now I have to read the second number now, so I have to write b is equal to obj dot next int. Now, now what I have to do, I've done with first number, I'm reading into a, second number I'm reading into b, now I want to find sum. So what I can do here, I can write comma c, or I want to find product, let's take I want to find product. Now in the store here, I have to write c is equal to a star b. So, so for multiplication in Java programming, you have to use star, you should not be using into. Right? So now I have to write SYSO and I have to write here product is equal to product is equal to and I want to print C plus C. So that's it. We are done. So let's see if it works. I will run the code now. You have to click on this run Java lesson six dot Java. Click on this and click OK. Now you'll see enter first number. I'm entering five. Enter second number. I'm entering nine and enter. Now I can see product is equal to 45. So here, this star is called for multiplication star. This is uh, this belongs to arithmetic operators, right? So now let's go back to the presentation and continue with the remaining operators that we have. And what we have done now, we just learned about writing a simple program to illustrate this multiplication operator in programming. Similarly, division. So division is like six by three. So the division will be like three twos are six, so answer will be two. And if I write here 5 divided by 2, the answer will be 2.5. And if I write here 10 divided by 5, the answer will be 2. So this is division. And last but not the least, everyone should be very clear with this last one that is called modular division. And uh, in programming languages, modular division is used to get the reminder. What does it mean by reminder? So when I write here 5 divide this modular division 2, so you have to divide with second number 2 and write here 5. And when I divide with uh, 2, 2 twos are 4, and I will get the reminder here, 1. So 5 modulo 2 is the reminder, which is 1. Now in this case, let's write here 9 modulo 5. Now I have to write, what is 9 modulo 5? So put 5 here, always put second number here, and 9 here. And now you'll write here 5, 1's are 5, and, and the reminder is 4. So 9 modulo 5 is 4. If you want to see programmatically, you can see here, let's go to Eclipse ID and let's do this. Let me open Eclipse ID. And now what I'll do now, I'll delete all this code and I'll try to understand. I'll just write here SYS for control space. I want to find the value of 9 modulo 4 and 9 modulo 5. So 9 modulo 5, what would we get the answer? So we got something like this. So we've written 5 and 9 and 5 ones are 5 and reminder is 4. So we got the reminder 4. Let's see what do we get programmatically. Let's run the code. So click OK. You can see here it's printing 4. So modular division will give the reminder. Now remember or, or be careful. One thing that you have to be very careful is that if the question is 9 modulo 5, we're getting 4. What if the question is 5 modulo 9? Now in this case, you have to be very careful because the second number is bigger 1. So what we have to do here is you have to write here 9 first and you have to write here 5. And obviously, you don't even get single because 9 ones are 9, you don't get 5. So 9 zeros are 0, and the reminder is 5. So, so in case if the first number is smaller than the second number, the answer is always the first number. So similarly, if I write 11 modulo 13, so if someone asks you 11 modulo 13, the answer is 11 itself. If the question is 13 modulo 11, now let's take someone asked you what is the value of 13 modulo 11. Again, you have to divide 11 and 13, and you have to write 11 ones 11. And reminder is 2. So, so don't get confused with 13 modulo 11 and 11 modulo 13 and 13 modulo 11. Right? So, so now in this case, if I run the program 5 modulo 9, since it's smaller one, you'll get the answer as 5. Let's run the code. And you'll see here 5. So, so now we just learned all arithmetic operators, and modulo division is used to get the reminder. And let's go to the presentation now. Now we just learned about these operators. And let's see what is there installed in the PPT now. So we have this modulo division. So 12 modulo 5. So you have to divide with 5. 2 is a 10. Reminder is 2. That's the answer. 
Modulo division will return the reminder. Now, if, now what if the question is 11 modulo 12? So in this case, you have to divide with 12. And uh, 12, uh, not only, it will not go even with once. So you have to go with um, 12 zeros of 0, reminder is 11. So, so what do we learn from this is when numerator is smaller than denominator, modulo division will return the numerator. So this is called denominator, and this is called numerator. And when numerator is smaller than denominator, answer is numerator itself. Okay. So we just learned about arithmetic operators. I hope all of you are clear with this. In the next module, we are going to learn uh, relational operators. Thank you and see you in the next module.